In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to show you the very simple and quick way to create a picture-in-picture -picture effect without using any of the presets that are found in the effects room. We have a tutorial on how to use more than the 100 ones that you find there. But if we don't want to use them, we want a simple static picture that pops up on the screen. We're not going to move it or rotate it or make it uh, come in and out appear through using opacity settings. If you want something simple, here's a very quick way to make that happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to take another image. We could use a static image, but I'm going to use a movie in this case. Drag it down to a higher numbered track. And when that happens, we see what we normally expect. What we expect is that when we play this, the higher number track will overlay what's on the track below it. And so I have my flag flying, and now I have my uh, celebration parade. So if I want to create this as a picture-in-picture, -picture, not covering the entire screen, the simple way to do that is to take the left mouse button and highlight my higher track, in this case my video track number two. I highlight that, and then I click up on the preview area. Now when I do, I see on each side in each corner a tiny blue bounding box. When I take the left mouse button and drag over one of the corners, I can immediately resize the image around the center of the screen any size I want. Now there's nothing on the screen that tells me the exact proportions that I have. I have to go into the effect editor in order to do, know exactly what I have. But if you don't mind using just your regular eyesight to get it about what you want, this works pretty well. Now it doesn't have to stay at the center of the screen. I can click anywhere uh, except for the center because that's my rotation spot. Anywhere and hold it down and drag it and move the image anywhere I want to on the screen. And so in this case when I go ahead and play it I start out with my flag and then this image joins it or pops on the screen at this point in time. Uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and shorten the length of this. We don't need it on the screen quite that long. And then what we're going to do is show you that you can do this more than once. Let me take another picture, another uh, video that is, drag this one down and drop it in here. Now I moved it on later so it will show up uh, after the first one. And so I'll take this and shorten this as well. And what we're going to do is click on it I move the playhead over it, it covers the screen. I click on it, then I click on the previous screen again. I have my bounding boxes. I take this one, I resize it. Again, I'm only visually precise here, not mathematically precise. And I drop it down over here. And so uh, I'm going to pause to render this. And now let's see what happens when we start our recording having the flag flying, and then these two picture-in-pictures come on the screen one after the other. I have the flag, then my parade at the upper right, full motion, then I have the parade in the lower right, full motion. So if you want something simple on this order in your project, it's the very easiest way to make this happen. In the next tutorial, we're going to show you how to edit the picture-in-picture -picture settings to make them more precise, whether you've created them using this method or whether you've created them using the tools found in the effects room uh, under your PIP designer. Either way, you can go in and make some changes, and we'll show you how to do that in the next lesson.